everyone and welcome to Slim Plus Cuisine, my name is if you did not know, and today I'm going to show you how to make my perfect microwave mashed potatoes. So let us begin. So of course the ingredients list will be down in the description down below. So if you want to check out, check out there. But let us begin by first skinning the potatoes. Now I am using Yukon Gold potatoes. I think they are the best kind of potatoes for mashed potatoes. They are both um, waxy but also kind of starchy so they give you that perfect smooth consistency of mashed potatoes that I think are the best. When the potatoes are done being peeled, cut them into fourths and then submerge them in a microwave safe bowl with water and then place that in the microwave for around nine to 10 minutes on the potato setting or just 10 minutes. I think potato settings are on every single microwave you can get so it shouldn't be hard to just put it to nine to 10 minutes on potato setting. But if you don't have that, I think it's the same amount if you just put it for 10 minutes. But more or less, you're trying to get the potato completely um, you know cooked all the way and when you put a knife through them there won't be any resistance now I submerge potatoes in water because um, they keep the potatoes from shriveling up and so when you start smashing them they still have that beautiful smooth consistency that you would get if you boil them but you're cutting down like 10 to half an hour of boiling time. So it's a huge difference and this is why I think these mashed potatoes are the best because they are quick and they are delicious. But more or less, when the microwave is you know, doing its thing, start heating up your pan, have it around to medium to low heat, probably more like low heat at this point because you'll be taking a while to dice up half a small white onion and then three cloves of garlic, just mince that all up. Now I'm using these two vegetables because they give potatoes this beautiful herbaceous amazing taste and honestly like you don't have to have these things you don't want to if you don't have onions or garlic in your house you don't have to do this if you don't want to but because it literally takes the same amount of time to you know cut these up and cook them as cooking the potatoes you can either just sit on your thumbs and wait for the potatoes to cook or you can make the mashed potatoes even better of course you can probably see which choice I chose but more or less when the onions and the garlic are done being cut and mixed respectively go over to the stove where your pan is preheating put it on to medium to high heat and then melt around a tablespoon or so of butter and then toss in your onions and season with salt pepper and red pepper flakes which just give us kind of a spicy taste which is pretty great you know more flavoring nothing gets worse with more flavoring after the onions are cooked a little bit you know they're a little bit translucent toss in your garlic and then cook these until they're golden brown now now, if you want to have them cooked and done all the way when the potatoes are done cooking, have the pan onto high heat and just don't let anything burn. But more or less, you're going to just cook these onions and garlic. They should be done at the same time as the potatoes. Now, when the potatoes are done, drain them of the water and then bring them over to a giant bowl where you will toss in the potatoes, the cooked onions and garlic, the blush of butter, the cream, salt and pepper, and then smash and you want to have potatoes this beautiful creamy consistency which is when it comes to like you have to have the Yukon Gold potatoes cooked because if there are any grainies at all it's going to ruin the dish. I have made this dish countless times and I can tell you right now if anything is undercooked it immediately ruins the dish. Garlic's undercooked it gives it a very spicy odd not delicious taste when the onions are undercooked Sometimes they work out, but usually it still has that kind of like the raw taste that really freaks people out. So again, ruins dish. And most importantly, when potatoes, if there's any graininess of the potatoes at all, when it's you know not done in this like you know kind of like pellets of raw potato, it completely ruins the dish. So have everything cooked through and smash it really well. I personally, after smashing the potatoes for a while, I actually use a spoon and just kind of mix it around and that gives it an added like movement which for some reason allows potatoes to become even more creamier, more delicious. But more or less, after all that is done, of course season to your liking and then plate it up. I put a little bit more butter on it and if you want to garnish with you know like green onions, shallots, whatever, do that if you want to but I don't have chance the house right now so I didn't but more or less of course enjoy this is not only creamy and smooth 
smooth and just like this beautiful texture. It is rich and is decadent. And the um, onions and garlic and butter and cream makes it into this like kind of like herbaceous, sweet sort of dish, which is not too sweet for me to freak out, but it gives it a new kind of just like delicious swing, which goes great with, you know, a savory steak or chicken or even eggs. This is an absolutely perfect twist on an age old side dish. So, with that being said, that is the end of the video. So, of course, if you like this video, like, if you want to see more from what, just subscribe. I hope you have a nice day. I will say time, and as usual, goodbye.